Hello, I'm Alex Karekis and I want to welcome you to my Finding Lost Civilization series. Today we're in a location called Grimes Point, which is near the city of Fallon, Nevada. And what we're going to do is we're going to go visit Hidden Cave. This is a great little place. Hidden Cave was a cave that was used by the ancients to cache food supplies and equipment. Okay. It was not a habitation cave, okay? It was a cache cave. You know, there were times when the winters were harsh or the hunting wasn't as good, and so you needed to store your food, and this is what Hidden Cave was all about. Now, once it was excavated, they found organic material, and they were able to test it and see that the ancients that visited that cave lived 3,500 years ago. Aside from Hidden Cave, we're going to visit some habitation shelters. These were very temporary, and they were mostly overhangs from the cliff face where the ancients could be protected from inclement weather for short periods of time. These are very interesting. And in one of these habitation, temporary habitation shelters, we're going to find some pictograph. So this should be a really fun time. So let's go and explore Hidden Cave, which is right there behind me, and several temporary habitation shelters at Grimes Point. So, this should be a fun day, and let's go find lost civilization. Well, along the trail to Hidden Cave, I found a beautiful petroglyph rock over here. Let's take a look at this. And this is beautiful. Look at this over here. What is this? Uh, it looks like a lizard. There's one right over here. There's another figure over here and then there's a this could be a, a bird over here and right over here right behind it here's another petroglyph right over here and then there's one right above it now this whole area at one time was a lake bed when the ice age receded about 10,000 years ago it left behind vast quantities of water vast quantities and what we're going to find on these petroglyphs in this area the boulders are very smooth well this was the lake shore at one time and the lapping waves from the lake shore smoothed these boulders out at one time most of Nevada was a Great Lakes area well eventually it dried up and so now we have the high plain desert area here at Grimes Point but the ancients that lived here at the time lived near the lake bed and so this cave we're going to go to is actually a cave formed by water action. So it will be very interesting to go see what we can find inside that well, cave. Well, I'm on a climb going up towards a hidden cave. But what I wanted to show you was how the landscape is. So if you can imagine thousands of years ago, this was a lake, a marshland area. And the Indians and the Around local people lived over this point. Here. There's hundreds of petroglyphs that we're going to go visit. But I wanted to show you on this walk up this trail to go up this hill, okay, we came across this overhang over here. This overhang over here was used by the ancients many years ago. In the winter time, there's a fierce wind that comes out from this area. Okay, it comes out from here. And right over here, during the daytime, you have the full sun warming this shelter. This overhang was a shelter used by the ancients. And excavations of this area has yielded evidence of habitation, casual habitation. Arrowheads were found here. Uh, equipment or tools used for fishing and cooking were found over here. So this is a temporary shelter used by the ancients many, many, many years ago, thousands of years ago. Look at this, a great place to get out of the elements. Look at this, this is the overhang over here, okay and Hidden Cave is around the corner. So this is a great little little place. Yeah, you know, it's really, I think, amazing to stand right here and to know that under my very feet, people over three, 4,000 years ago used to live here and seek shelter.
Well, this is really exciting. I'm sitting inside or kneeling inside a habitation cave or a habitation shelter. This was not used to live full time, but it was used to seek refuge from the elements. But we know that the ancients were here because right in front of this shelter is a grinding stone. It's always great to find something, okay, to speculate that this is where they live, but then to actually find evidence is really fantastic. I'm going to turn the camera around. And you're going to take a look at the view, the panoramic view, in front of this shelter. Now, mind you, at one time, the waters were right up to here, <laughs> to the entrance of the shelter, so to speak. Okay, so anyways, let's take a look. Okay, and there you have it, right in front of me, right over there. You see that white spot? Well, right there is a grinding area, a grinding slick, so we know that the ancients ground foodstuffs there, berries, uh, nuts, um, you know, a, a cornucopia of plants <laughs> were crushed there, ground there, and were used as a food staple for the ancients. Now take a look at the entrance, the, this overhang. It's beautiful, beautiful. Look at the view that you get over there. Let me turn the camera around so you can get a look at the inside. As I said, it's not very high. This is really good, uh, you know, uh, as a shelter from, uh, from the elements. It's not a place where someone would have lived full time. It's not high enough for that. It's only about three, maybe four feet um, high. Okay, so I'm gonna go out to this grinding boulder and let's go examine it. Here. This over here is very, very smooth. It's from the action of the grinding stone. It's very smooth. Here's the regular, the outside of the boulder. It's very rough, very rough. So you can actually feel the difference. You can see at it, and you know that this was used as a grinding stone by the ancients. So a great little find, and I'm happy to share this with you.